How you doing here today, YouTube? It's me, Coop the iHelper, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get your iPod Touch screen or iPhone to show up on your computer screen. Now, this is the easiest way. We're going to need two things. I'm going to provide the link over in the description on the right. The two things we're going to need is Safari from Apple on your computer, Apple, Mac, or um, Windows, and you're going to need this application from Studio called Screen Splitter, and I'll show you guys how to get it. So, so let's first let's get screen splitter from um Cydia. Now basically the iPod touch screen is gonna be showing the same way mine is on the computer screen name right now. So we're gonna go into Cydia on our iPod or iPhone whatever and then click search. We're gonna type in S C R E E and S P L I T R screen splitter, which is right here, guys. As I hope you guys can see, screen splitter. I already have it. So mine says at the top right. It says modify. But I want you guys to click. If you don't have this, click install, and then click confirm. All right, guys. Well, once you guys have that downloaded. And it's, it's going to put a little application on your screen. Um, the one that says on is my screen splitter. But since I have this theme, it actually has changed. But click on screen splitter. What it will do is it will open up the application and it will shut it back down. But when it shuts back down, you should see this on symbol on your screen. Alright, guys. So let me exit out of this for you guys. This is um, actually a screen splitter that I have controlling my iPod here. So to get um, Safari, you're going to want to wait for my slow computer, I'm sorry. I know guys, I should have a Mac, but okay. so to get Safari, you're just going to want to go to apple.com, as you see I have up here, apple.com. Then we're going to want to go to downloads, downloads tab they have on their website. Hopefully it comes up soon. And then as you guys see here, Safari, Safari 4, as this video is the latest version of Safari that they have. Download that, it's free. Okay. So once you have Safari downloaded onto your computer, it's just an internet browser, you're gonna want to go to the bookmark area, like I'm going here. Okay, so if you go to bookmark. I want you to go to show all bookmarks, like I just clicked on there. And then once you click on show all bookmarks, it's going to bring us, actually I believe, to the history tab. We're going to want to now actually click on screen splitter on your iPod Touch now to get it to say on. It will open up the application, about five seconds I believe, and then shut it back down, and then it will say on on the springboard. And then once you click on show all bookmarks, we're going to want to click on this one here, Bonjour, and then once you click on Bonjour, if you did screen split it correctly, it should say the name of your iPod, which mine is right here, the little Bonjour symbol, double click it, guys, and then it will load up, if you screen split it on your computer like mine did here, and then basically iPod Touch will say Remote request, accept or reject, you click accept on your iPod, and bam, shows your iPod touch screen. This is actually, guys, the easiest way to do this, and I thought I'd get it out to you guys because a lot of you guys have been requesting it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys find this new feature you guys found out useful, and if you have any problems with it, Leave a comment or PM me, that's the best way. If you like all my videos, please help me out by donating. I'll leave my PayPal link in the description. And sign up for Swagbucks under my referral link. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and rate 5 stars. Peace. Keep the eye open.